Hello everybody, this is Old Soldier. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's not sexy, but is vital to every soldier, marine, sailor, airman, hiker, or hunter. Taking care of your feet. Now, this video is going to be generally geared towards the military application of taking care of your feet. Um, maybe a young soldier attending, oh I don't know, Special Forces Assessment and Selection. But is applicable to anybody who could be covering long distance, carrying a pack, miles and miles every day. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is have a well broken in pair of boots. Now you can see by what my wife calls my man boot collection that uh, I have a variety of boots. And they have, these are some that I've used for years and uh, some that are not so new but a lot of them have a lot of wear and tear and yes i have done at the far right is a set of loas and i said hey you know i will would be happy to put a pair of those on and go on a road march the next day and i stand by that comment however if i was attending a selection course where i was going to be on my feet uh, carrying a pack or a rucksack over long distances on timed events every day, I don't know if I would take, uh, buy them and put them on the next day. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't. Uh, next to them is a set of danners, and those were bought in the 80s, and they advertised when they came out. You could buy them and go on a road march the next day, and I did, and uh, no problems, no blisters. But, uh, you know, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to talk about is have... A good, good quality, solid boot, and make sure that they're broken in. And make sure that they're not broken into the point where halfway through whatever you're doing, whether it's a long hiking trip, trip, excuse me, or a selection course, that they break down halfway through. Next thing that I want to talk about is when you are rucking or hiking and you want to take care of your feet. Generally speaking, have a two sock system. And in other words, the first one should be some sort of light synthetic sock. Uh, here I have a lightweight pair of polypropylene socks or a pair of say military dress socks. That'll work just fine. Um, these work great in reducing friction of your foot going back and forth in the boot. Next thing I'm going to talk about is your other sock should be some sort of heavy wool or uh, composite sock or a blend. Here is just a standard pair of what used to be Army Issue wool socks. Now for some of you out there uh, know Old Soldier does not suffer from enlisted men's fashion disease and wear his, commonly wear his old Army wool socks that it's probably a shame that he still has after being separated from the military for so long with civilian attire. However, I do have a few pair and they still work just fine. So when I'm doing outdoor stuff, they are still, I still use them. Um, if you're allowed to use them or um, it's something of, uh, it's your choice in the matter, uh, civilian bought wool socks at uh, an outfit are great. These are a pair of merino wool socks. Uh, when I was in the military, merino wool socks were not commonly available, if available at all. Really like them. Nice thick pair. And one thing about merino wool, it just has the added benefit, added benefit excuse me, of uh, when they get dirty and they've been on your feet, they generally do not smell as bad. But anyway, a two sock system is essential. Uh, in my estimation or in my opinion uh, when you're going to be carrying a rucksack when you're going to be rucking long distances. Now one tip that I've learned and that I've passed on to many people and overwhelmingly have gotten good feedback on is the use of a bar of soap to take care of your feet uh, when you're rucksack marching or when you're carrying a distance or pardon me when you're walking a long distance with a ruck or a pack. Um, look I learned this a long time ago. This goes into uh, helping reduce friction uh, on your foot going back and forth uh, with in the boot when you're moving along. So what I do is I take my bare foot, I soap the bottom of my bare foot, then I take a pair of polypropylene socks, put that on, then soap the bottom of my foot 
with the polypropylene or the thin, the first thin synthetic sock. And then I put on my heavier uh, wool sock or blended sock and then soap the bottom of that. And what that does is it will make your foot um, slip back and forth in the boot um, rather than the layers of your skin sliding back and forth and creating a blister. Once again, these are the steps that you need to take each day before going on a long rucksack or hike. There are a couple of other things I should mention. You need to toughen your feet over time with preparatory uh, march, marches, road marches, rucks, or hiking before you engage in day after day long distance hiking. Also, it is good to acquire some moleskin and know how to apply it in order to treat blisters if they do appear. Um, the final piece of advice that I will give is remember to follow your own advice. Uh, on one occasion, after I separated from the military, I participated in an adventure race. I took it too lightly. I thought, I'm a big boy. I know what I'm doing. Just threw on a pair of boots and some decent socks and went about my business and did not take care of my feet. And it cost me, and I jacked my feet up big time and embarrassed myself. So don't be so smart that you ignore your own advice. Well, folks, that is how this old soldier takes care of his feet. This is Old Soldier out.